to my surprise, we had a lot of people in our previous videos say they just got into this game, they just got started uh, because of our recent couple of videos here. So I thought to myself in today's video, why don't I go ahead and embarrass myself and talk about all the mistakes that I made when it comes to Seven Lady Sins so you guys don't do what I did. What's going on everybody? It's Childish, you're back at it again, coming at you with another video for Seven Deadly Sins. As always folks, thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, before we get into the content, before I embarrass myself, uh, I do wanna let you all know, we do have a room in the Discord channel. Uh, we have a link in the description down below if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out. I am mixing and matching some roles right now, so um, if you guys are not able to see it, just let me know, I'll add your role and we'll, we'll get everything squared away. But uh, let's go ahead and embarrass myself. Uh, the first thing, and again, these are stuff that you might have already seen already, so if you, I've already kind of watched a lot of beginner guys out there. You're probably going to see a couple of the same things here. But again, I just want to talk about everything that I messed up, um, which again is, I can't even believe I did some of these. But yeah, uh, don't get scared in this first one here. Okay, first one that we got going on is syncing the account. Okay, if you guys did not know, uh, you jump into the game, you you get excited, you start to play, and then some people forget to go ahead and sync up their account. So if you're like me that played this game on Global Lunch, streamed it for three hours straight, and then the day before or the day after, I hop into my phone, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what's going on here? I, uh, I I don't see my game. What's going on? I got I did. I forgot to sync it, and I almost lost my account. And then in addition to that, once I set it up, uh, once I set it up to go ahead and do the data transfer, and I put it on the uh, second account, or, or I put it on my uh, phone versus my tablet, um, it pulled the, it literally transferred the data, and then it it, it unlocked me or it uh, logged me out of all my like uh, like Apple IDs and and Google Play stuff or whatnot here. So. Um, first off, yes, sync your data, you know, create the, create your, uh, click the data transfer so you can go ahead and, uh, you know, create your code, create your password and then transfer it as you need to. But keep in mind that sometimes it pulls you out of your account. And then when you go back into it, it's going to try to roll that tutorial again. So you need to re-log into your account on the bottom right. You got that option there in the main menu, um, to go ahead and sync data. You can put your, uh, a name or your, your code and your password in there so you can get right back into it. But I ain't gonna lie. I got super scared because. I literally had to do everything all over again. And then of course, I also play this game on BlueStacks um, when I'm not here. So being able to do that, I had to do that and then I had to resync everything. I mean, it, was, it was just a hot mess, okay? So don't do not do what I do, okay? Um, so again, the, the next thing I wanna talk about um, is the importance of reroll here. Now, if you look at my heroes, you will see that I do have the green Meliodas, but uh, I actually had one of my uh, good friends uh, and fellow streamers out there uh, recently donated me uh, a little bit of money so I can go ahead and get Green Melly. That being said though, um, the importance of reroll in this game, I don't think is as that's crazy as that people put it out to be. Um, it's it's an option for you guys, especially if you're free to play, to get you know a unit that you specifically want. But I have uh, tested out a, a various amount of uh, bosses in the in the chapters that I've been through stage, uh, chapter one through chapter six. And uh, you know, honestly guys, while Green Melly is super, super strong, um, it's not like it's, needed right you could definitely cheese some content but you definitely don't you know you know it's not like gonna make or break you can make it work with some of the units that they provide throughout the uh throughout the quest line here so don't 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 beat yourself <laughs> if you can't get the perfect unit you want just you know, if you want to do it a couple times great if not no big deal just you know go through the process and uh use the units that you got because to me personally using the underrated units out there that are not super great it, it makes you connect with your account more and makes you understand the game a little bit better okay uh, next thing that I want to talk about is the is actually she's talking about the chapters as well is the rewards. Uh, this is the one thing that I actually didn't realize up until like chapter two. Everyone was like, "Childish, where is your uh, your gear?" I'm like, "Well, I'm using the common gear. That's what everybody says. Use the common gear." But they're like, "No, you actually have some um, some a little bit better gear that you can incorporate." So I went to I went to the shop here and I went to purchase bundles. So if you see purchase bundle highlighted here, if you go to the fourth tab in this section here. Um, you will have an option for chapter one through five completion rewards that will pop up in the top left of your screen here. So again, obviously I have a collected all of mine, but it's kind of nice. They give you that first couple of sets of uh, SR gear and whatnot. So uh, it was a nice, you know, added bonus because I didn't have to, you know, do tons of equipment draws or do, you know, some heavy grinding to get those first couple of pieces. So it is uh, really nice, especially if you're looking for specific uh, specific uh, gear on, on, on certain sets of one here. So very, very, very nice added bonus here. So um, actually, since we're already up in here, the equipment draw, uh, this is something that uh, I constantly forget to do doing the daily draw. As you can see, I didn't even do mine. 
this is a great way to go ahead and get yourself a couple of random pieces here, you know, raring from whatever rare uh, SR, SSR. In addition to that, you can get some of those awakening stones as well. You can get a couple of things on here. Now, one of the biggest mistakes uh, that I was jumping into early on uh, is, you know, hey, I hear this is where you, you know, grind it out. You know, you grind out your, your, your gold and you go ahead and do this equipment draw. Like gold at the very, very beginning, before you can actively farm uh, the SP dungeons here is on the lower end. So doing this, uh, with, you know, doing a lot of this uh, at the early start, I think is a, a big mistake here. So um, while I can definitely get away with it right now, because I do farm overnight and collect myself, you know, whatever it is, like a million, million, five gold, what I, you know, doing the equipment draw every now and again is really not too bad at all. However, uh, for the people of you guys getting started out, uh, your money is very limited. So don't really go for the equipment draw just yet. Wait until you, you know, uh, progress your account a little bit more. You start to farm, you know, overnight and get your stuff. And then you can take advantage of the extra money that you have. Uh, to go ahead and uh, uh, get it done here. So uh, the next thing I want to hit up here is going to be the equipment prioritization here. So um, if you go into the, you starting to get all this equipment, you go into your guy and you're like, okay, well, um, what do I use? What do I, what, what do I want to uh, invest in? Right. So obviously King Arthur is, this is not going to make too much sense here, but this, I think this is actually a mistake. This is why I want to show this here. So um, when it comes to the quality of the equipment, yeah. Um, you know, there's three big components that are gonna make a very, very big difference on the combat class. That's gonna be your HP, it's gonna be your attack, and it's gonna be your defense in that order here. So um, one thing that I wanna point out here is that if you're a new player, um, you know, obviously all these different items here, they're gonna have these, you know, flat stats, you know, the attack, defense, attack, uh, HP. And if you're coming from some of this world, you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, bro. Bro, bro, what, what's going on here? Where is my percentage-based stuff? The percentage-based stuff is going to be coming from your uh, set bonuses. So uh, early on in the game, I got to put the recommendation out there that even if you don't get like, you know, super nice items, you know, rare SR, SSR, that is not important. What's important is taking advantage of the set bonuses so that you can improve your overall stats and therefore improve your combat class. So for example, um, since HP is a very, very strong uh set for set bonus for you uh, it, it impacts your combat class the most that's actually what i'm utilizing for a lot of my units here some of them uh you can make an argument for going attack or 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 uh was a defense or whatever or you know other crit, crit rate or whatever but for me personally i'm using the basic sets that i've been given through chapter one to chapter three i believe chapter three is the one where you can get um you get the completion reward for the hp sets here so i'm taking advantage of those sets for right now with the ones that they've given me and then throwing in some random ones on the side and then on top of that why this is a big mistake on the right here is that these SR, you know, obviously the grade um, of up, upgrading these, you can enhance them, you can awaken them, and you can get some bonus stats here. Like, for example, this one here, I've awakened it one time. I got a pierce rate of 4.7%. This is something that you're able to do after you uh, level it up to plus five. When you level it up to plus five, you can go ahead and awaken it. Uh, let's see, for example, just like this, I can awaken this one here. I'll spend 40,000, awaken it, and then after I awaken it, I'm going to go ahead and get the reset and or, or not gonna get the reset but i'm gonna have this bonus here and now i can plus five it again now um you will notice that uh depending on the grade of the actual item you might have an option to uh awaken or change this stat uh, versus you know crystals or versus like gold or whatever here sr gear and up is going to be expensive because you're going to need those diamonds um which again is not a very very smart thing to do when you're very very limited here um that's why uh you know utilizing the super low like the ultra common gear the rare gear stuff like that that's going to be a better option for you on the right because even though on the left side you get uh, a lot of value uh when you're upgrading uh those main stats here on the right side uh you're not going to see as much value here so if you go ahead and and you know, get yourself a couple of easy, you know, like, like low grade stuff here. You're going to be able to save a little bit of money investing into upgrading it because you're going to get, you know, you're going to be able to focus on some of those, some of those key stats that you're looking for. So for example, if I'm taking a look at my attack here, um, actually I can't show it right now, but like you can tell right here on this item, I'm, uh, wait, when I awaken it, I'm go ahead and, you know, I'm trying to prove the attack. Obviously I put the crit chance in there. I kept it, but, um, you know, those percentage stats can add up, you know, especially if you bring this like to a tier five, right? Uh, if I were to get, you know, maxed uh, stats on that, you know, I can get upwards of what, like 15% attack, which is actually a, a pretty, pretty big amount for that one here. And then on top of that as well, on the bottom, you got yourself the uh, option for HP. So if I were to awaken this and come on over here, you'll notice here that these are going to provide uh, stats that kind of revolve around HP, which of course, HP percentage is the one that we're, you know, strongly considering here. So um, again, uh, focus on the right side or when it comes to focusing on the right side, use your lower tier gear, take advantage of of the lower prices to do. And then if you had to make an argument for which ones to focus on the most, uh, the first one's gonna be the HP on the bottom, then the second one's gonna be the attack on the top, 
And then the last one here, you can go defense here. But HP is going to be the one that's really going to be impactful. So I guess you could say the bottom gear, if you are limited on men, uh, money, the bottom gear, as far as upgrading, awakening, so you can get those percentage-based bonus stats, are going to be extremely, extremely important, okay? Speaking of importance, let's go ahead and talk about the importance of food. So food, for one, uh, was a thing that I truly didn't understand when I first got started. And uh, I, I soon realized that it's outrageously impactful uh, when it comes to uh, the bonuses that you can collect here. So the bonuses, uh, if you guys haven't seen them, uh, they can they can range from a wide variety of stuff. They can benefit you from uh, giving yourself, you know, some overall better offensive stats. They can benefit you from in, in the PVE side as well, uh, allowing you to gain more gold when you're farming or uh, you can get yourself uh, a little bit of bonus on your combat class if you're trying to get the first turn, right? If you guys don't know, combat class or CP, right? Uh, depending on where, you know who you're fighting, right? If you have the, whoever has the higher combat class is going to be the one that's get the first turn. So if you're sitting here, um, you know, attacking a specific boss age or whatnot, right? That is get, being very troublesome to you. Um, and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm just that much more close. What can I do? So if we take on one of our quests here, click on it, and then we take a look at our setup. Obviously, this one here, we have a ton of uh, enemy. Uh, we have a ton of uh, CC, right? We're not worried about it. But you can go over here on the middle right there, click that eat a dish, and you can take a look at the uh, items that you've collected either through the quest line or the ones that you've made uh, in the tavern here and take a look at what, what these things can provide for you. So here we got a, re a regeneration rate bonus with affinity. Uh, if you decide to gift it or if you decide to use it in a battle, we got that regeneration rate. Um, we got a crit defense bonus over here. Um, what, what do we got? I know we got one. I think it's this one right here. Milk is sharper combo. This is a huge one right here. Combat class by 10%. 10% can mean everything when it comes to uh, depending on where you're at, right? If you if that 10% is enough to get the first turn, you can drastically uh, change the outcome of the match here. So again, very, very important, guys. Take advantage of it. And then keep in mind that while you're going to be able to get some of these through the quest line uh, that you're going through, you can also hop on over to the uh, different uh, towns or whatnot here. And the towns are going to have those uh, uh, material shops that you can purchase uh, specific items for your food. Um, and depending on what level you have on the friendship will determine what kind of uh, uh, specific foods you can get, especially some of those you're going to need for higher quality quests. But overall, uh, I mean, it's a very, very important thing for you to do. De definitely don't want to miss it here. So I get the last thing that I want to talk about there um, is a town friendship. Now, when I was pushing through the content, um, I was like, OK, it's whatever. Like, I'll do it and, and I'll be, you know, I'll just kind of blow through it. And, you know, if I level it up, you know, go figure it Now, Vanya was like the first one that. Um, I think for a specific quest, it required me to have like Vanya level three, right? And so after I got level three, I was like, okay, no big deal. I'll just kind of do the re remaining stuff and not really worried about it. Well, again, talking about the items that you can uh, purchase in the equipment shop and the material shop, um, you uh, actually can get a lot better stuff uh, if you are at the higher, higher amount there, at the higher level here. So again, uh, I think it's a very, very important to point out there. While it may not be super important to do right at the start of the game, this is definitely going to assist you um, if you decide to focus on this versus just pushing through the quest line. Some people want to go through the quest line as fast as possible, get through chapter six and be done with it. Some people want to take their time and get every quest done here. Whatever way you do, just keep in mind that if you do take your time and, and, and go back to it, then you're going to be fine and uh, you're going to be able to collect, uh, purchase some of these items that you would not normally collect uh, depending on what level you're at here. So um, again, like I said before, if we're talking about those uh, equipments, right, and making sure that you have uh the the set bonuses that you can collect here having those uh chapter one chapter two chapter three maxed out at level five being able to collect whatever items you want is going to be really nice because again you're that gives you more options for getting specific gear for the specific slots that you need to get the set bonuses so um those are some of the things that i definitely messed up with um uh, when I first got started here, Lord knows I'm going to make a ton of mistakes when it comes to PvP, um, but that's going to be for another video. Again, uh, obviously, this is not everything that uh, generally is, is, is a mistake made when it comes to this game. But if you guys can do me a favor, you're still watching this video, uh, talk about all the things that you've learned along the way. Talk about some of those common mistakes that you've seen new players make uh, in 7 Deadly Sins. Leave a comment in the comment section do, uh, down below. I would greatly appreciate it, guys. Okay, so that's going to be it, y'all. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's your boy Childish and Childish Play checking out. Take care, and we will see you all in the next one. I'm out.